As you can see here, a large portion of designers think that graphic design trends are at least semi-important. And that can also be seen in Google Trends as well. But what are the important trends of 2024? How can you use these trends on your designs or why are they so important to graphic design? The first trend is set to become a huge and influential part of the future of graphic design. And it's something you will need to know about. In the upcoming year and beyond, we can expect to see a surge in design trends that highlight sustainability. But whoa, wait there. Before you think that this trend isn't important to you as a graphic designer, you should take note of what I'm about to say. Brands that utilize environmentally conscious initiatives will garner way more recognition heading into the future. And a larger portion of consumers will favor designs that align with these values. And as a designer, you can expect more and more of your clients talking about sustainability as they try and finesse it into their briefs. Importantly, here are some tips so you can actually include this trend into your designs only when necessary though, of course. Firstly, be aware of eco-friendly materials, printing techniques, and industry standards for sustainability, but also how that might relate to your brief and your process. Question if your target audience are psychologically inclined towards saving the planet and sustainability. It really doesn't matter that if you personally believe in it or not. As a designer, you need to be designing for a target audience and climb into their shoes. That's exactly what a pro designer does. Also consider using earthy or natural color palettes in your designs. These colors evoke a sense of sustainability and can be associated with eco-consciousness. However, minimalism is often attributed to eco-friendly and sustainability projects as well. Also consider how sustainability can just simply be worked into the visual language of your design. Use eco-friendly fonts and typography that reduce ink or toner consumption. Opt for clear, legible typefaces that are easy on the eyes, reducing the need for excessive printing. Now it sounds possibly a bit silly to some people, but over thousands and thousands of prints, this does make a big difference. And sustainable inclined audiences will be aware of this. Also incorporate eco-friendly symbols and icons into your designs to convey a message of sustainability. Are you bored of minimal graphic design? If the answer is yes, then you're not alone. A lot of designers feel like they've endured minimal design for way too long. And that's why this next trend is growing stronger and stronger. Embracing maximalism in your graphic designs can lead towards bold, eye-catching and visually stimulating results. It can appear a bit crazy at a first glance, but actually looking closely, it isn't just random chaos on a design. Maximalism shouldn't be chaotic. It should have a purpose. So begin with a clear concept or theme that ties all of the elements together in your design. Color is a very strong point in this trend as it uses bright and bold choices most of the time, but you should aim to establish some kind of form of color harmony on the design. Try using complementary colors, analogous colors, or a dominant color to create visual cohesion. Often in maximalism, you'll find high quality and detailed images or illustrations that support the theme or the message of the design. These visuals are often central to convey in the message. But yeah, I hear you. The main question is, as a designer, when should you be using this on a brief and a project? Firstly, maximalist design is highly effective at grabbing the viewer's attention but also it might appeal to niche audiences who appreciate intricate and detailed design. So consider using this style if that aligns with your target audience's tastes and their expectations. But get this, are you also bored of static typography? The world is changing and so is typography. And to continue with that, an ever increasing design trend is coming into the scene. We're talking about dynamic typography here. Graphic designers can make use of dynamic typography in various real life situations to convey information, evoke emotions and enhance the storytelling. And here are some practical applications for dynamic typography. Dynamic typography adds movement and interactivity to text, making it more engaging for the audience. If you're working on a website design, a social media design, or just brand and materials, consider that dynamic typography will actually likely engage your audience a lot more. 
dynamic typography enhances memorability simply by adding a visual element or component to the text, making the message more likely to stick in the viewer's mind. Having animated aspects to your design really sets it apart from other designs, and it shows a creative flair. All of this leads back into how motion graphics are becoming more and more required in society and the world of design. And so dynamic typography is becoming more and more of a trend. Now, there is something that is so powerful in the marketing and graphic design world, and actually it's beginning to manifest itself in a new design trend, but it happens pretty much every single year. In 2024, you should anticipate design trends that draw inspiration from the past, be it the 90s, 80s, or even earlier. Nostalgia really hits people right in the feels and it makes a design more relatable. In 2024, you're gonna see more retro color palettes, vintage typography, and classic design elements which will invoke a sense of nostalgia, all while remaining relevant. Now, you might have noticed recently how a lot of TV shows or Netflix series make use of 80s or 70s kind of vibing styles. For example, in the series Stranger Things, you'll notice how the settings, the overall design, and the music selection are all very nostalgic and 80s based. But the main tip for using nostalgia is to understand your audience. Nostalgia, after all, is a very deeply and personal experience. To use it effectively, you must understand your target audience and what era or cultural references are most meaningful to them. What were the cultural undertones, the trends, and the icons of their youth or their past? Research and empathy are the keys to utilizing nostalgia properly on any graphic design project. But the question remains, how would I personally use trends next year in 2024. Like most things in graphic design, you first need to establish the audience and also the mission of your brief and the project. Once you know that, you can then determine if trends are viable or even going to be useful in your project. So for example, if your audience are going to be elderly people in their 60s, 70s, 80s and so on, and you're rebranding an insurance, life insurance company, Trends probably aren't going to be useful to this project and you as a designer. On the flip side, if you're designing social media artwork aimed at millennials, then this is where you might want to say use nostalgia or dynamic typography in the design somehow. You could incorporate these trends into the overall visual language of the design project. And as you can see, the trends would only be one tool asset in a numerous number of tools and techniques. Like most things in life, trends are not all bad or all good. But the thing is, most people seem to be polarized and take sides when in fact, the truth is somewhere in the middle. Trends are useful sometimes and can benefit a project in some situations. But hey, if you want to turn your reality into a professional, efficient graphic designer, just click that video on screen. Until next time, guys. Design your future today. Peace.